Hi everybody, welcome. Um, I'm going to show you how to use some shrink plastic today. I've been making quite a few bits out of shrink plastic. This one's a little green man, um, the Lord of the Woodland. I'm going to create him using shrink plastic. These are shrinkles that I bought from eBay, I think. Very inexpensive, great fun to use even with your children as well. It's a frosted side and a shiny side, and I like to draw on the frosted side, though you can use ink pens on the shiny side too. So I'm sorry it's a long video because I don't know really what I'm doing. So I've got tea, so that's good, ready to go. Um, I apologise if it's too long. Please just skip ahead if uh, you don't want to watch what I'm doing. But this is in real time, so I'm going to show you how to make the template. Um, I simply draw half of the face. Um, as you could see, I'd already done one on the other side. This allows you to create a symmetrical um, shape. Now, it has to be quite large because shrink plastic does have a tendency to um, shrink, which is why it's called shrink plastic. Um, so you have to do your pendants and beads and things quite big uh, and prepare for them to shrink down at least by four um, in the size. So I'm just drawing out a, a rough shape here. You don't have to do all these lines, but these will help so that when you actually come to fill in your design, um, you can use this as a, a proper template. If anyone's interested, I'll try and figure out how to organise a template for you to actually use. That's if you enjoy watching this, of course. So there we go, get a tracing pad now. Now the tracing pad will allow me to trace both sides of the de design that I've just done to make a complete piece. So you need to do um, a line through the centre of the piece as well and use that as a guide. So this might be a little bit boring, but I hope you can understand what I'm trying to do. You see the design underneath the tracing sheet, the one I did earlier on? So I should show you how to do it now. Using the one that I've just drawn, open it up. Draw a nice strong line down the centre. There we go in a second so that'll be your center line so first on the tracing sheet I'll probably do a line there also that's my center line I actually shouldn't have used this ballpoint pen because it does mark things a little bit it sort of bleeds so I'm just going to now draw over the first image I designed which is the first half of my little green man and once I've done this I will then flip the tracing sheet over and do it on the other side and this will make a symmetrical piece I'll try not to talk all the way through this if I can but uh, I just want to do some more YouTubes it's been a difficult year I think for everybody and um, I'm now starting to get uh, get organized and hopefully I'll start sharing a few more things with you which would be really nice and was my intention um, a long time ago right there you go I've just flipped it over now line up the central line just opening the sheet up a bit better so it's thinner there we go we don't need all of that <laughs> oh dear and then flip it over and then redraw the same image on the other side. And as you'll see, it will create a perfect little green man face. You can always use this technique for all sorts of things actually as well. Um, flower shapes, heart shapes. Um, I've also done other creatures which I'll perhaps try and share with you as well. I've done some really pretty hair brooches and things like that. So there we go, there's the trace, that's the, um, the shrink plastic. So I've got my design drawn. What I need to do next is actually draw onto the shrink plastic then I can cut the shape out 
and then we have the base for our green man so I'm going to use that nice rough side because it's much easier to draw on if you get your coloured pencils out they're perfect for drawing on uh, this shrink plastic I've also got an oval shape because I want to actually put it um, put the little green man mask onto like a, a background so I'm going to make uh, an oval background so I've made it almost the same size as the mask um, because when they both shrink down that's the size that they will be they will fit each other if I made it smaller it wouldn't fit the mask so let's quickly draw the oval shape using an ordinary green colored pencil So we'll draw around it and then we're going to cut it out afterwards so you can use pastels on this paper too, which creates a beautiful effect. And there are some people here on YouTube that do some amazing um, pendants and necklaces. So I think there's a lady called Julie Haymaker. Um, I've been watching some of her little tutorials and she makes beautiful jewellery. So this is um, my little take on things. So there we go. There's an oval shape. And next I'm going to draw around the little green man. Um, template that I made so I'm just going to pop that underneath there we go you can see it quite clearly through the, the shrink plastic so I'm just going to draw it all in and do some of the details as well and then the boring bit is when we cut it out and then I will colour it in
there we go thank you for watching if you're still here sorry if it was boring um i didn't like to speak over it but i'll have a go next time i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and see you again soon i hope watch out um there's a linda about <laughs> thank you